Hey pool players, hey Ron here. Welcome once again to the Pool Student Channel and thank you very much for watching everyone. Hey, recently I picked up a lot of new subscribers and if you're watching my video today and you are one of those new subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I thought about you guys yesterday and I thought, you know what? A lot of these players are probably looking for a tip or something on my channel that's gonna help them in their game. So because of that, I wanted to put together a video today and I call this practicing with purpose because when you practice this game, you're trying to get better. I see so many players that'll play the game for 10, 20, 30 years and really never in improve. They seem to plateau. Well, I think I found a formula that works for me and I'm hoping it can work for you. And once again, it's called practicing with purpose. So without further ado, let's look at what it is that I do with my practice regimen to help me become a better player. Okay, early on, way back when, less than two years ago, I noticed that I was not able to pocket a straight in shot with regularity. I might maybe make 50 or 60% of my shots. And I, I thought, what is going on here? Well, my stroke wasn't straight. So I worked hard on my stroke and this particular drill right here really did the trick for me. So I start out every practice session by hitting 10 straight and then I move on to the next challenge. So here what you see is a mini draw shot. And this one is pretty tricky. You have to make sure you stay um, on one side of the line so that you can always drift over to that next shot. And the last shot is real tricky where you'll notice that I had to cheat my pocket because I was off just a little bit. Watch how, the, watch how this ball goes into the corner. The reason I went way over like that was so that I could gain my angle because I can't hit a rail. That's the other trick to this uh, drill. So I was able to pocket the one ball and cheated it even there so that I wouldn't hit the rail. Now the next uh, challenge or drill is this one. And this is a, a great one because it's a two rail position drill, but it also um, has uh, a situation going on where you have to pocket a spot shot. Okay, so it's that cut shot that it's, it's inevitable. We run into it all the time on the table. So by doing this exercise, you'll get yourself right in stroke and you won't even think twice about missing the cut into the corner from that spot. And I do this one uh, for a length of time. I actually try to, uh, in, in last night I was uh, when I shot this video, I was looking for 10 straight and then uh, I took a break and then I would go for another 10. And then I went on to the next drill, which you'll see uh, coming up here real quick. Just an outstanding uh, exercise uh, for pocketing shots, really. Just an outstanding drill, like I said. Okay, now this next one here is, it looks the same, but it's quite different. This is a finesse shot drill where I actually have to spin the heck out of the cue ball and go two rails and come back across mid table so that I can pocket the next ball in the opposite corner. This one here, when I first uh, was introduced to this drill by a great player out on the East Coast, I'll tell you what, it took me a while to figure this one out. And this one here, I would suggest everyone learn this because if you can figure this drill out and be able to pocket several in a row, and it took me well over a week before I was able to really uh, run this continuously. But once I got it, I can tell you this, it's probably one of the best things that's ever happened for my game. Uh, give it a try. Uh, <laughs> If you've not done this, this is a challenge for sure. But I think every player must have this in their arsenal. There's a lot of spin-induced throw, a lot of judgment on how you aim. Um, just all of the above on this shot. A real finesse shot for sure. Okay, notice there I've gone from one ball to two balls, and now I'm up to four balls. Now, practicing with purpose means that we're doing things for a reason 
and you'll see what's going to happen here after this particular challenge. So this is the uh, six, seven, eight, nine challenge. So we run these balls in rotation. I can tell you this too. You can change the locations of these balls anytime you want to make the uh, uh, the challenge a little more difficult or a little easier. Notice here I've gone two rails uh, just to get back for that nine. The other thing about this uh, particular challenge is there's an imaginary uh, rectangle that I want to always stay within with the cue ball. And that is if you were to project points from where each ball is positioned on the initial setup, like right there, the cue ball has to be within that zone after you've made your shot. I like this one because here you notice I just drew straight back, but then there are times where I might have to use two rails, um, might have to just bump one rail to get back out. Uh, ideally, if I can have a little angle on the shot and not draw, that's best, but I like to, to have it straight in so that I can use my draw and work on that, and uh, that, that helps me as well. So lots of things are good about this. Oh, and another thing too is I try to get six in a row on this one, take a break and then go for another six in a row and then move on to the next uh, challenge. Obviously I'm not showing you all of them, but uh, uh, because of uh, time restraints on our video here, but you get the idea. Setting a goal with each one of your challenges, I think is key. In this last shot, I wanna set up for that next ball that's gonna be uh, placed on the table. So I just bump out and I have a nice angle on the sixth ball that's gonna be put out there that you'll see right now. Okay, now let's move on to all nine balls. So this is another one. I uh, uh, put a a target of two um, of these last night. So I think it took me about seven tries, maybe it was eight tries before I had two of these down. And uh, this is a great one. And notice that everything that's happening here is what was happening in those leading, or those lead up uh, drills, challenges. So a lot of these shots are no different. And it's just that there's more balls on the table. Now notice I started out with a bank shot. I want to finish up with a bank shot also. So there's there's things you can you know throw in like this little twist where I start with a bank and end with a bank. So got to play position on the last shot for a long rail bank. The first bank was a short rail bank. So just some things that I do just to kind of you know shake things up a little bit. It's uh, it's always good to challenge yourself that way. So now I just have to make sure I get the right angle here for this nine ball once I shoot this eight ball in. And uh, you'll see, I, and I know my table pretty well, so these, these banks are relatively easy for me for that reason. Okay, then finally, we're now doing our nine ball pattern. So I go ahead and break. Um, I will go ball in hand sometimes, but if I think I have a shot, like in this case, I have a carom shot. Uh, it's not an easy one, but it looks like it'll go. So I'm gonna go ahead and go for it. I also think that the uh, two ball might come back into the corner, but I wanna keep the cue ball up table in case the cue ball rebounds back up, which it didn't, it went in the pocket. And that did leave me a lengthy shot on the three, but I've got this shot. So I uh, just gotta go two rails get back around for the five in the opposite corner a little spin on the cue ball there there again isn't this shot familiar now the nine balls in the way here so I've got to draw away from that and I actually do a good job of that and I knew that the cue ball would come back it did bump it but it bumped it on the high side and it left me a little bit of a cut down the rail didn't want to miss this because I I know I've missed these before in the past when I've hit them a little too hard so I just rolled it in knowing that I would have this nice cut on the nine going in the corner, just like the drills before it. So I wanted to share all this with you guys. And uh, if you have any questions, comments, go ahead and leave them here. Thanks for watching. And like I always say, keep on practicing.